It is the second time I'm here with the Czech Philharmonic. The first time was before the, the COVID time, so it seems uh, it looks uh, a lot of time ago. So a big pleasure to come again here after what these big events that uh, we passed in, in the world of the COVID. And of course, uh, we will perform two masterpieces uh, of the history of music that are the Symphony Number no. 40 by Mozart and always by Mozart the 41 Jupiter. I always to joke, uh, I say always that my instrument is a toy instrument <laughs> and also to the orchestra. Uh, it's true, uh, you know, uh, when you play, uh, you like recording, you play recording, and I play, I play since I'm uh, 11 years old and I continue to play, so it means that I like the instrument. And it's something I noticed that uh, all the colleagues, uh, even uh, we are really in love with the instrument. There is something that uh, to play this instrument that uh, from one side can be very easy, you blow and it sounds. And uh, there is something that really gives a deep pleasure, very relaxing. And this uh, way to breathe, I would say that is quite similar to the yoga uh, breathing, that is not too much resistance, but continuous. And there is a sort of, when I play also after the rehearsal, I'm tired, but I go to play in my room, uh, and I play half an hour, so I feel really well. It's a very intimate uh, relation with the instruments. The limit the instrument, push the player, to look more and more the possibility in this much more limited than other instruments like violin, but even clarinet. Uh, but, and you discover that in this uh, not too big space of possibility, there are many things that you can discover and try to, to find to make uh, more expression on the instrument. Let's say the classical music like Mozart, Haydn and Beethoven and Schubert, uh, it's a music uh, in a way where uh, uh, you can hear everything. You are in a way transparent. Uh, to play a Haydn symphony can, can it could look quite simple from a point, certain point of view, but then it's very complex because all the questions of precision, not only technical, but the musical precision, like a, a dynamic, a small accent, uh, if it's not really together, like one unique, uh, organic uh, uh, group, uh, is evident there's something doesn't work. Of course, in all types of music it's like this, but it, especially in this music that has a, this kind of transparency, uh, I would say that the, the single musicians has much more responsibility if we compare with the later stuff and with the bigger stuff. So the, the approach, also my approach, is in the middle between a sort of a classical conductor that, uh, okay, I say the dynamics, the organization of the piece, but then also for me it's very important to give responsibilities to the musicians that they can act not only following my gesture, but listening. And of course the risk to play all in the same way with uh, historical informant, the risk that finally we play all in the same way. So I'm happy if someone is again uh, playing Bach in, in, let's say, in an old way or not historical informant. Uh, for me, it's, I think it's sort of richness of the musical panorama. I don't, don't say, no, this is wrong, this is right. Uh, when there's the pleasure to make music, even if it's not right in the sense, uh, it's okay, it's, for me it's good, because the goal of the music is to give uh, pleasure and to, to the listener and to the players.